great. So, what's up next? Ah, let's check the internet for some news. Let's begin with, uh, ah yes, sequential. Okay, take five compact polys and a new machine in the house. Very interesting and very compact, I would say. Um, what else do we have here? Um, patch morphing for Pro 3 synthesizer and new wavetables for Pro 3 synthesizer. Two new features. Great. I have to check them. And what else do we have? Uh, da, da, da. What? Profit 5 voice expansion and new operating system. Upgrade to 10 voice bitemporal stack and split. What? What? Really? Yes, I know. It's about four weeks ago uh, when I um, expressed some wishes for the Prophet 10, which I presented in episode three of Freak Out Your Sin. Um, one of the wishes was... So this brings me to the conclusion. Um, yes, can I criticize this synthesizer? Of course I cannot. It's a classic, it's a replica. It's so well manufactured. It's uh, uh, beauty and the beast uh, at the same time um, there's nothing to criticize really maybe yes I have two three points where I think this could be a little bit better for example um, we have a 10 voice synthesizer and if I especially in this version if I could uh, layer sounds two presets and to play both presets with five voices only so and, and balance between them this would be a great feature also i'm missing a keyboard split where i could say okay preset a preset b, preset b on, on on both sides of the keyboard this could be a good feature ja, 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 ja. Some wishes come faster through than you might expect. And now uh, Sequential presents uh, in a new board for the Prophet 5 um, where you can um, add more voices to the synthesizer as well as uh, the splitting and stacking capabilities. And for the owners of the Prophet 10 synthesizer, you can uh, now uh, update this one with a new operating system and this is what I will do now. I will show you how to update the synthesizer quickly and will check out the possibilities and then I will do the same with uh, the updates for the Pro 3 which I also have. It, it's here. It's a, a Pro 3 SE, the special edition version. It's the same synthesizer as well. Okay, so let's begin with the Prophet 10 update. So I'm filming the screen uh, with a screen recorder and um, also with my new camera. And let's see what's happened. We are now on the website from uh, Sequential and uh, I'm going to the download section latest Prophet 510 operating system 2.0 okay we have downloaded the file and um, and I place it in my sequential folder and uh, create a new one um, that's not very creative but understandable Okay, so it should be prepared for running the update. Let's open uh, MediOx and um, we go to the view window. No, we go to the options menu and check the, the buffer size. It must be 1024. 
byte. So let's open the options menu again and let's check the MIDI devices which are connected and see here on MIDI outputs we have the Prophet 10. Now we go to the view menu and we open this folder and import our update file. We open it and it starts running and we see also ah, and we see also that um, the profit 10 is working and we must wait a little bit um, don't power off this uh, that synthesizer during the update process um, that would kill your synth and so we have updated our profit 10 to the new features Okay, Prophet 10 is now ready to play stack and uh, split sounds. And um, how this works, I will demonstrate now. And um, yes, um, this uh, synthesizer is actually in, in the normal play mode. So um, you can play it as you normally do. And I will bring it now into the stack mode. That means um, it's layering two sounds, two, two different sounds. And um, to access to this mode, I uh, have to hold the preset button. And you see the display show, shows NOR for normal mode, for the normal play mode. And if you uh, press the bank select button, you come into the STC stack mode. If you release um, the preset button, um, you are able to play now two sounds. You have, here you have more a uh, uh, pass sound and more uh, an attack sound at the same time playing. So now we want to uh, access the second sound and to do this we press the preset button once. And we can see here a B and you are now on the layer B. That means you are now working with a second sound. And if you want to change it, you can, can do it as you normally do. You can uh, press the program select. Let's go to another bank. Okay, we have the second sound and um, if we want to change the, the loudness of the second sound we have to uh, press and hold the velocity button and now you see the loudness in the display and to change it you can press the group select or bank select button. can turn the volume off. You can change So we have this and um, you can return to the layer A by pressing the preset button again. You are now on the uh, first layer sound. So we have now created a new stack sound and if you want to um, save this we have to press, um, we have to jump back to, into the uh, layer A mode, yes, and uh, now you press record and now you can um, change, you can, you can save it here at right at this place or you can uh, choose another one by accessing 
all um, groups, banks and program places. And um, important is that factory sound must turned off. You are now in the user mode and if you press um, another program place, for example number three, you see um, the record stops, uh, the record button stops blinking and um, you have saved this uh, split sound. <laughs> And now we want to play in the split mode and we do nearly the same. We uh, uh, press the preset button and go with the bank select not to the stack mode. One step more, we go to the split mode. And now we have uh, two sounds on this keyboard. Here's the split point. So we can, by pressing the preset button once, uh, we can access a sound B. So, so how can we change um, the split point? Um, to do this, we have to press the key that we want to access. We hold the preset button and press once the bank select button. And now we have set the new split point. And if we want to return to the original uh, split point, we have to do the same. We press the wished key. We hold the SPL uh, preset button. Press the bank select button and we have set the new split point. So thank you so much Sequential for giving us this new feature. It is really a missing link to the Profit 10. You get now the full power out of the synthesizer and I was really missing it when I tested it uh, for the first time. And um, yes, now you can stack sounds, you can split sounds, you have full access, full power and uh, Yes, much more power than before. And um, yes, it gives uh, new possibilities by uh, experimenting with two different sounds. And if you layer them, you get uh, really cool new things out of it. And um, yes, absolutely highly recommended feature. I don't have the Profit 5. I don't know how easy it is to install this uh, offered board. And uh, but I. But I guess it will be also very easy and you have then also another 10 voice synthesizer by using this option for all other users, the Prophet 10 users, update the synthesizer and you will really have fun from the beginning. Some months ago, uh, Sequential surprised us with uh, a new update for the Pro 3 or Pro 3 SE synthesizer, the solo synthesizer. And um, I have also one in my studio. And um, if we talk about updates, we can also talk about these updates. I will show you how to install them, how to update the Pro 3 synthesizer. And I will show you what this new updates can do. So let's begin. So I will now um, update the Pro 3 with the latest um, operating system. And um, to do this I will uh, download the file and um, go through the installation process. First um, I will check uh, what operating system is uh, on the synthesizer. I check this with uh, by pressing the global button and we can see here it's 110 so it's very low and um, it's time for an update so let's do this and um, download the file from the website. It's a ZSX file 
now we run Mediox again, configure the buffer. And 24. We go to the MIDI devices and uh, have to connect with the Pro R3. Here it is. And we open the file. And let's run it. And we see activity on the Pro 3. He's receiving data. Very good. So update is finished in a few seconds. And uh, we are now at 95%. And done. Restart again. Voila. So we have updated this uh, Pro 3 synthesizer and um, it's now installed 1.2.02. Okay, very fine. Okay, we have now a sound and um, for accessing to this I have to enter the miscellaneous parameters. I have to press the morph button and I have to choose a controller. A modulation source. Let's, let's get the slider. Okay, very cool. Okay, let's change the sound. Very cool feature.
Okay, so let's um, check the oscillator for the new wavetables. We should find them here. Hi guys, this was my walk through the latest updates for the Pro 3 and the Profit 5, Profit 10 synthesizers from Sequential, which are quite interesting and quite important, I must say. Um, the synthesizers have got now so many new options. Um, yeah, I'm sure if you wasn't happy with your synthesizer before, from now on you will definitely. So especially for the Prophet 10 synthesizers, the stack and the split mode was a thing that I was missing. And now we have this option. I'm really happy about that. And um, yes, what else is to say? This episode ends uh, without uh, once and only this time. <clears throat> yes, I'm a little bit under pressure because next week we have Super Booth in Berlin, the most important event in Europe that you can imagine. And, and if you are a nerd for electronic music, for synthesizers, for recording, whatever, you must come to Berlin if you can and check out this fair. Four days of craziness, don't miss them. Okay, so I hope to meet you there. I will be there definitely. And um, yes, now leave your comments down below. Give me your like if you want and subscribe to this channel. And we see us in the next episode of Freak Out Your Synth. Goodbye.